everybody. Today we will be explaining the difference between insurable risks and non-insurable risks. And we will also have to provide three practical examples of each. This can roughly be a 10 marks, 12 mark question, 8 mark question, depending on the number of examples that's asked and the number of the mark allocation in your paper. So let's get right into it. Insurable risk are insured can suffer financial loss when the goods are damaged or a person dies. Insurable risk are insured by insurance companies, which means businesses are, businesses are compensated for losses that occur due to a specific event. Non-insurable risk, the chances of loss is too big and cannot be calculated. So when the chances of a loss is too big and cannot be calculated, that's a non-insurable risk and companies may not insure you. The next is not covered by insurance companies remain the responsibility of the business. Some keywords there are insurable risk when somebody suffers a financial loss and the word compensate means pays off. The companies, the insured companies or the insurance companies pay off. When is something non-insurable when it's too big of a loss? And if it's too big of a loss, it remains the responsibility of the company. So, let's give some practical examples. The fire, theft, and storm are insurable risks. So, if there's an event of a fire, theft, or storm, that's an insurable risk. Companies can insure you. And things that are not or non insurable risk are changes in the fashion trend or changes in fashion, shoplifting and losses due to war. Now pause this video and see if you can understand the question. I'm adding icons now to assist us in obviously understanding each statement or each question more. There's the fire, there is theft, somebody was a mask, there is a storm. There is a fashion um, a hanger. There we go. What is that? That is a shoplifter and losses due to war. There is the war truck. And from here, you may pause and understand. And if you feel you're comfortable enough, we will then remove the keywords. I mean, only show the keywords and remove the other words in order for you to attempt to answer the difference between insurable risk and non-insurable risk. So you may pause the video. Now, if you feel comfortable enough, I will remove the keywords and then you can pause the video and see if you understand the difference between insurable risk and non-insurable risk. If you, not, if you do not understand, please rewind as much time as you like in order for you to obviously understand the topic, understand the content of this work and be able to answer the questions. Okay? So, what does that money with a wing tell us? It tells us the financial loss. It tells us the different compensating that companies do. When is something non-insurable? Or when is it an uninsurable risk when the loss is too big and people cannot calculate accurately how much they have to pay back and then if it becomes the what is that man doing is carrying something so it becomes the responsibility of the business then we can now remove the practical examples fire theft storm hanger shoplifting and losses due to war. There's are examples of insurance, of insurable risk and non-insurable risk. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video helped. Always subscribe, drop a comment below or just study hard as you can.